So quantum link program disk. And it just says, also included game programs for Sea Strike and Hangman. Huh. Quantum Link Program Disk. Quantum Link, Q-Link. It's uh, some sort of modem program. Actually, it's pretty crazy. This uh, Quantum Link or Q-Link um, was an online service for the Commodore 64 and 128. It was operated by Quantum Computer Services of Vienna, Virginia, which later became America Online. Anyway, so Q-Link featured electronic mail, online chat, public domain file sharing, online news, and instant messaging. Now it said it had two games on it, Hangman and that other one, Sea Strike or whatever, but I wonder if you need Geos to, to use it. Because you can run this in Geos. It says it on the disk. Welcome to Quantum Link, the easily to use and affordable network of services, especially to, oh, this is cool. Wow. Self-running tour, you don't have to just sit back and read all about the Quantum Link can do for you and your entire family. Easy to use, affordable, and fun. Hey, so this is, you know, if anybody knows, this is what computers were like before the internet. And, all right, how do I select? Oh, it's automatically selecting. It wasn't free, however. It was $9.95 a month with additional fees. Oh, look, it's a chat room. Ew. It's in a virtual, you know, fake chat room. Thanks, Q Guide Kathleen with a C. Hi, everyone. Good to see you again. Is anything going to. Oh, God, lecture. Yeah, lecture. Wouldn't miss it for anything. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't miss that lecture for anything. Thanks for telling me about the new C128 program I downloaded. How do I get to the lecture? Oh, we have to connect to the lecture. Hey, this is the Zoom from 1987 or 1985 or whatever. Oh, it's in the auditorium. Never mind. Did you buy your new modem? I did. Thanks for this. I love 1200 baud. I'm going over to the Commodore Information Network to take a look at the message boards. Let's go to the Commodore Information Network and the message boards. All about CIN, SysOps Corner, SysOp. Oh my god, System Operator. The guy who ran the BBS. Wow. By the way, in, in the late 90s of 89 or 90 or sometime around there. Let's see, it was when, no, it was like 92. I, I actually owned, I actually did ran my own BBS off of a Commodore Amiga 2000. And I could still use it to do other things. I think by then there were some other computers that could somewhat multitask as well. Oh boy, let's go to Commodore Software Showcase. Well, anyway, <laughs> like I said, maybe I'll do a deep dive, but that's, uh, yeah, self-guided tour. So, Quantum Link. Even crazier, in 2005, some hobbyists reverse engineered the service and created a version called Quantum Link Reloaded, which runs over the internet. Um, you can use the original Q-Link software and connect to it. <laughs>